You really are a fascinating creature, Tenebrae. May I touch you? If you wish. Ooh, you don't feel quite like a cat or a dog, or even noish. I've never felt anything so soft, so this is what it's like to touch darkness. You are too kind, really. Whoa! Whoa. Your skin stretches this much? Ah, oh, this texture can only mean you're a shapeshifter. You must be quite experienced to make such deductions from a single touch. <laughs> Your way of speaking is quite interesting as well. Your interest is flattering. So, when Colette was talking about maniacs, did she mean you, Rain? It's true that Colette and the others have often accused me of being an archaeology maniac. But what about the term maniac made you think of me? Oh, it's just that Colette mentioned a friend of hers who seemed to act like a totally different person near ruins. Like a different person? Yes. She described her friend's transformation as berserk, crazy, insane, frightening, dangerous, monstrous, inhuman, reckless, disturbing, and completely out of control, if I am not mistaken. And you're saying that's what I'm like, Emil? What? She didn't... Tenebrae, stop doing things like that! <laughs> Genus, you and Rain are siblings, right? So that would make you a half-elf, too. Yeah, though I'd think that was pretty obvious. Half-elf. What, the two of you don't like half-elves? I don't mind the two I've met so far. Well then, that's good enough for me. We usually get dirty looks when people find out what we are. Was it that way with Lloyd? Lloyd's the kind of guy who couldn't care less if you were a half-elf or anything else for that matter. He is? So this is what you've been up to. No wonder you've been away from Isalia an awfully long time. With everything people are saying about Lloyd these days, I figured I should get the story straight from him. I see. Well, I'm glad we ran into each other. Yeah. By the way, notice anything different about me? Hmm. What could it be? Come on! Can't you see I'm taller? Take a good look! My voice is even a little deeper. You don't say. How much taller are you? A sixteenth of an inch. Hmm. Hey, Genus, why do you use a kendama as your weapon? Lloyd made it and gave it to me for my birthday. It helps me concentrate when I use magic. So you just started using it as a weapon after that? Sort of. See, once when I was playing with it, the string broke and the ball hit Lloyd smack in the head. Really? Colette took one look at Lloyd passed out on the ground and said I'd found the perfect weapon. I thought these people were supposed to be friends. Aren't you cold? Yeah, it's freezing. It's not even dark yet and it's already this cold. How stupid is that? If we don't do something, and fast, I'm gonna freeze up solid. Really, Genus? I thought the cold didn't bother you all that much. That was just when I was a kid. You still look pretty much like a kid to me. Who, who asked you? I'm gonna have my growth spurt any day now. Snow in the desert. I do hope the desert's ecosystem will be all right. The majority of creatures that make their home here should be able to weather the cold, but still. I hadn't expected mana would be this far out of balance. Lord Ratatosk would be horribly dismayed at this state of affairs, I'm sure. But it's so romantic! Arm in arm with your significant other? It's the perfect place for a stroll. Significant other? Yeah. Maybe me and Persea could... I think we just got a glimpse of Genus' true colors. The cores must really be powerful if they can freeze an oasis in the middle of the desert like this. If this keeps up, it won't be long before you can hammer a nail with a frozen banana. A nail? With a banana? Yes. An experiment quite popular when I was a child. I wonder if they still do that sort of thing in schools these days. Not that I can remember. If you ask me, I'd rather eat the bananas than use them in experiments. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Wow, Tenebrae. That was the first time I saw you turn into a fishing rod. Truly fascinating. What else can you change into? A dog? Please. I have been called the Centurion of a Thousand Faces. I could even become a jaw-droppingly beautiful woman if I so chose. A beautiful woman? 
Yeah, right. I'd never actually gone fishing before that. Oh, yeah? That's pretty rare for someone who grew up at Palma Costa. I mean, it's right on the water and all. Oh, yeah. Well, what did you think? It wasn't easy getting a bite. It was tricky knowing when to reel in and when to let out the line. That battle of wits between hunter and hunted is fishing's greatest joy. You'd never learn the thrill of the hunt fishing for Lady Marta, though. She's far too easy a catch. Well, excuse me! <laughs>